What should people avoid while traveling to Europe? Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Thanks. Don't rent a car if you're going to stay at a major capital. It's not worth it. It's much better to use public transport and get an occasional Uber. Street scammers in Paris. Anywhere really. I just mostly see it in Paris. I'd avoid Ukraine at the moment. Be respectful to memorial places. Don't come to the idea to make selfies or similar. Inform yourself about the traditions of the country. In some countries, you can openly make small talk with strangers, while in another one, you do have to approach them like a wild animal. Restaurants in touristy areas that have signs out front with pictures of the meals and the price featured prominently. Falling in canals and walking on bicycle paths if they come to the Netherlands. In major cities don't let anyone hand you anything such as flowers or whatever. Once it is in your hands they start asking for money. They even gave a flower to one my kids and then wouldn't take it back. Just set it on the ground and walk away. Law top of the list. Creepy dudes outside airports trying to split cabs. Unless your dad's Liam Neeson. Insinuating that Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and possibly some parts of Cornwall are in England. Doesn't go down too well. I'd avoid social media and watching TV in the month before your trip and spend that time on Duolingo instead. Not sure where exactly you're going in Europe, but it'll help you to know a couple of phrases in the language. Should be obvious, but I'll say it anyway, don't do the Hitler salute while in Germany. Not even as a joke it's illegal. And, Holocaust denial is illegal in 18 European countries. Assume that European countries are the same. Walk around loudly exclaiming how cute and quaint things are. Be extremely loud. Talk loudly about how much everything costs in dollars and say it's cheap. It may not be for those around you. Avoid speaking without exchanging greetings first in France at least, and not responding in kind when someone greets you. In other words, exchange, bonjour, s before you ask where the toilet is. Avoid letting your kids act like monsters in public, in restaurants in particular. Avoid rushing through meals unless your kids are acting like monsters. Don't think that what goes for one country goes for all. There is all sorts of differences in cultures, laws, etc. Avoid assuming Europe is all roughly the same. It's a continent, not a country. You don't go to Japan and expect it to be like Indonesia just because they are both in Asia. In other words, it all depends on which country in Europe you are traveling to. Tipping. Don't start making it the norm here. Scams. There are a lot of them. Beware the person that picks up a gold object ring etc. and tells you that you dropped it. It is not yours and it is costume fake. They will then try to get money out of you. There's another one with a guy that will ask for directions or something like that and then give you an article of clothing. The jacket or shirt will be garbage and he'll try to get money out of you. There are lots of other scams too. Staying in major, capital cities the whole vacation. You will only see a small part of culture there. Try traveling to some smaller cities or even villages and go for a few trips into nature as well. If you're a woman going to Italy, you should know it's more conservative than you think. You can't enter holy places and churches with bare arms or knees showing, and that's more places than you would expect like the Colosseum and the Pantheon. Even in the height of blistering summer, bring something for your shoulders or a light poncho cover up. Taking a shit somewhere without buying something. Complaining that something isn't how it is in the US or whatever your home country is. While visiting Poland, refer to Polish cities and towns with their German names like saying Danzig for Dansk. I witnessed a couple of drunk German guys did that. Did not go well. If you're from the US don't sign up for the bullshit $10 per day international service with Verizon or other service providers. Nearly any airport you arrive in will have a place where you can buy a SIM card to put in your phone at fraction of the price. For instance, I once got a SIM card in Seville, Spain for something like 12 euros and it came with a month of service and 9 gigabytes of data. Edit, for using wrong name. Edit 2, apparently there are SIM services you can get now that are even easier. I'm not familiar with them but probably worth looking into. Saying you're traveling to Europe rather than the country you're actually traveling to. Europe is an entire continent of vastly different countries and entirely different cultures. Saying you're traveling to Europe means absolutely nothing and makes you look extremely ignorant and or American. Swimming in liquid iron. If someone asks you if you drop your wallet, don't reach for where you keep it. You're telling them exactly where you keep your valuables. Well, if you're not going to specify a country, I'd say avoid the French. That's a pretty universal feeling in Europe. 
trying to pay in dollars. Pickpocketers. You are not a TMs as they are basically a scam and will charge you up to percent 20 in fees for the money you are withdrawing. Edit. If you want to find the best deal on cash withdrawal at an ATM, look for a local ATM and opt to use your home bank to calculate the exchange rate. Coming over with a bunch of cash dollar and using an exchange service to buy euro. Just use your debit or credit card everywhere. If you need some cash, take it out of the ADM. Exchange rates will be much better, no commission, 3% fee from your bank, but that's reasonable. I would recommend avoiding let any tourist group plan your trip. You will only see the most touristy stuff, and everything you eat will be insanely expensive. If you research enough you can do well in Europe and eat for much less. Carry your wallet in your front pocket, if carrying a bag or purse, towards the front. It's a comment for all tourist areas, Europe just has a lot of them. I vacationed to Barcelona a few years back and the people on La Rambla would do this thing where they ask you for a lighter and then go in for a high five embrace and pickpocket you. Someone told us to look out for it and then it literally happened the same night. Also girls who look like prostitutes but are actually trained pickpockets. They will come up acting like they are trying to swindle you to paying for a hookup and distract you by being extremely attractive and grabbing your dick and shit. Meanwhile your phone and wallet are also being taken. Happened to me and my buddy but the girls caught up to us and returned our stuff. I guess they either felt bad or didn't like the spoils a shitty off-brand Galaxy and a Nintendo Switch brick charger. If you're going to Portugal, never say we are part of Spain. We will no hesitate to put you on our hospitals. And also don't eat pastel de nata with a spoon. Americans, do not look left first when you try to cross a street in the UK as you do in the US. Learn to look right before crossing a street as that is the direction the vehicle that will hit you is coming from. Shitting their pants. It's a rather unfortunate incident and I despite the rumors, just as inconvenient in Europe as anywhere else. Tipping. Don't bring and normalize that here. As a Dane don't go to Sweden, not worth it. Ordering water at a restaurant 9 tenths times you will get sparkling water. You have to specify that you want plain water. Mexican restaurants. Currency exchanges. Just go to the bank or use an ATM. Never look a French woman in the eye on a Tuesday when it's raining in Paris. Avoid Italians wearing Crocs. If you see a German without a large sausage, run. Don't tell Scotty. He doesn't know. If you rent a car and drive on the highway don't sit in the left lane when not passing anyone you'll get brights flashed at you and you might get a ticket. Also stop doing that in America too it's extremely annoying and causes traffic to pile up behind you. Forgetting that Europe is a continent and most of the countries are wildly different to each other so any advice for one country is probably wildly irrelevant to the next. To talk about Europe like it's one homogenous place. Deleted. Maybe the most common is expecting and acting as if things there ought to be like they are at home wherever that is. It's probably good to read a little about local customs and behaviors where you're going. Bridge trolls AMD candy houses. Scams. There's some pretty clever ones out there. Men. Do not carry your wallet in your back pocket as pickpocketing is rife in many European countries. Death. Avoid death at all costs. 